Welcome y'all to another episode of Lily's Sizzling and tonight we're going to be making Tristan's dad's uh, recipe here and he likes to make these uh, chicken croissant rolls. So we're going to be making these uh, these rolls here and using a modified version of this recipe so we're going to take and put some uh, olive oil and he likes to use frozen baked chicken. I'm going to season this chicken here and bake it and put some different seasonings on it and that way we can cube it and shred it and put it into our croissant rolls. So, add a little bit of bay leaves, maybe um, the equivalent of one bay leaf, and some a little bit of seasoning salt here over the tops. There we have it, a pinch of seasoning salt. So we have a nicely seasoned chicken breast here, and I'm gonna just oil up our pan just a little bit on the side so it doesn't stick since this is a non-stick. There we have it. Get that oil underneath there, underneath these nice chicken breasts. Kind of move the oil around the pan with the seasonings. All right, so I have our oven preheated to 375. Uh, my oven preheats just a little bit weaker than most, so equivalent about 350. So I'm gonna put these in here, I'm gonna bake them until they're done. And then for our side dish, we're gonna be having a green bean casserole. So we got some green beans and some things here that's gonna go into our green bean casserole. So while these things bake and get ready for us, we're gonna also prepare our green bean casserole. So when these are done, we can stick our green bean casserole in and these all at the same time. So let's get started on that. It's gonna turn into a toad slowly as one saying, snacking on all the mushrooms. Okay. So we have some green beans here. Yeah. After I've been eating all the mushrooms. Yep. <laughs> yeah, savor it. Savor it while it lasts, mister. <laughs> yeah, garlic that <laughs> escaped off my plate there. I'm skipping garlic. I'm gonna put some cream of mushroom soup. A whole can. One and whole can? Yep. Yeah. Nice. That'll be nice and creamy. Some pepper. So we're gonna bake oh, this was, in here. Uh, you that got, was garlic. Yeah, it's spicy, isn't uh, it? That wasn't no mushroom. I thought that was a mushroom. <laughs> uh, I gotta eat it now. Ew, you're gonna eat a oh, garlic challenge. I bet you can't eat a whole clove of garlic. <laughs> okay. This? That's in my mouth? Uh -huh. I can eat it. You a whole clove of it? Just hold it whole. Oh. There's that clove, there's just a little nibble. That doesn't nibble though. I'll eat all this so right now. So we're gonna mix around these green beans like this. We're gonna bake our green beans uh, when our, basically when our chicken here gets done and we get ready for our chicken. So we've got our green bean casserole ready to go here. I would check on the chicken. Yep, we can check on the chicken here in a second. I don't think it's cooked yet. Oh, Are you checking the chicken? Cooked. Oh, um, no. Chicken's not done, so we gotta do the funky chicken dance. We'll wait for the chicken to cook. <laughs> Okay, chicken. so we're gonna get the rest of the fillings ready here that are going to our uh, into our whole stuffed chicken rolls here. I think that should be a regular routine on the show. I Anytime know. you're cooking chicken, He's like do the chicken dance. He's like plate of mushrooms. So we're gonna take some more I'll mushrooms, into a mushroom. some bell peppers, and some other ingredients here and get this stuff ready to go into the filling. So we can have the filling ready for the chicken once it's done. So we can just keep it up and stick it in there and just get everything ready to go and sizzle-tastic to you. Okay, so let's get that happening. All right, y'all, so we're gonna check up here on our chicken. It smells much better than the cheese he is cutting. So this is our chicken here. It's getting nice and sizzled up in there. You can kind of see it. About maybe a quarter of the way done. So it's baking up nice and good in there. And it smells delicious. So we're gonna continue to let those guys bake here and we're just gonna chop up some more vegetables here to get ready into uh, what we're gonna make for our stuffing part of our of our croissant rolls. So we have some vegetables here, and yeah, we're gonna get a knife. Okay. Oh and uh, we're gonna be cutting some bell peppers here. I'm gonna give him a little quick tutorial on what we're gonna be doing, and then he's gonna sit here and cut these, not the cheese. I'll do it. So I cut the tops off, and I cut them long ways. And I just take out the seeds and stick them on the side. You don't gotta get every seed. And then I flip them back over like this. Whoa. Smelling. And I give a couple cuts. Looks like 9,000, not a couple. Yeah, it does. 
I just take these little chunks and I cut them yeah. in. Yeah. Goodbye, bell peppers. Yep. We'll Goodbye. see you in my stomach. Should just eat one of those pieces. Here, wanna try it? They're not spicy. Mm -hmm. I promise you, they're not spicy. They're really good for you too. Lots of vitamin C. See, not spicy. Was it spicy? It's kind of like. I haven't even eaten it yet. It's right here. Okay, well, let's try it. Chew. Yeah. Probably making us more damn nervous and cutting again. It's my turn to cut. Yeah. Cut the cheese. No more cutting the dang cheese. I'm going to need an air freshener. There's no even. cheese in this episode. There's no cheese. He's making it cheesy, though. You said don't be stingy, rocks. So like that with the bell peppers. Okie dokie. And little slices with our, with our um, mushrooms, too. A little bit smaller than what we were doing with our, with our casserole there. That way it can mix into the stuffing good. So we can stuff it so like that. And you know how to cut the garlic. So just cut all this stuff up and we'll do the green onions at the end. So there you have it. Go to it, Master Chef. Chucky. He likes to cut his garlic first. $5,000 an hour. That didn't sound good. $5,000 an hour. I wish I could get paid $5,000 an hour. That'd be great. Oh, I'm tired of getting paid $5,000 an hour. Yeah, I should be getting paid $20,000 an hour. $30 million an hour. Yep. Price went up, honey. That's right, kids. Become a cameraman. It's more lucrative than becoming a chef. Yeah, I know. Hold the camera. It's more lucrative. I know. All you have to do is sit there. Yeah. He gets paid more. I am using many years of college education behind this. Camera. Hold the camera. <laughs> There's a. That's what they. That's what they want you to believe. I am using a lot of technical skill. You understand how to maintain focus and your frames and. I am ADHD. I can multitask like thirty different things at one time. Yeah, he could hold the camera and cook. You're out of a job. See ya. No, I'm playing. <laughs> Okay, so he's just going to be doing this, cutting up peppers and all this stuff, and this is basically going to be some more stuff in here, and I'm going to get our bowl in a few seconds so we can start mixing up the stuff with the cream cheese, so we'll be able to just... I'm going to go like first-person shooter style. First-person shooter style? Dude, this one don't have no seeds. You cut your fingers off. Look <laughs> at him trying. He's trying, too. No seeds. No. <laughs> I made a special drink for a little friend who's cutting the cheese. I put some chocolate milk inside of a bell pepper. Look, they make cute little cups, don't they? There you go. You're going to do it? You're going to do a drink chocolate milk out of a bell pepper? Ew, ah, he would. <laughs> He's going to eat it. This man knows no limits. All right. So I've got on a bowl here and we're going to start mixing all this stuff up soon. Here's the muff miller on his head, sorry. Alright, so we're going to mix all this stuff together here and I've got some cream cheese. And I have uh, peppers and mushrooms. I put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds and it got nice and soft. It smells delicious too. It smells like my farts. Oh no. <clears throat> Your farts smell like an egg factory. Mm. Six months after Easter. 
All right, so go ahead and mix that together for a few more seconds for me. So our chicken's about done. So here, oh, so with our good. green bean casserole, I'm adding a little bit of milk here. I don't want to do this part until we are for sure. Look, I'm gonna do it right here. About ready to. Here, you're gonna hold on to it and mix, mix it. I'm gonna add just a little bit of milk. This milk just kind of makes it creamier and milkier. Just kind of part it out and add it yeah. in there. You're all done mixing it. Want me to taste it? No, no, no. Taste it. We'll taste it in a few seconds. So we're going to add in our chicken in here in a few seconds and then we're going to start stuffing our croissant bowls with this chicken and a little bit of mixture here. Then we're going to touch them over with some olive oil and then put some breadcrumbs on them and we're going to put, put everything is going to go into the oven and then at the end we're going to put our French onions <laughs> onto our casserole. You are a bread. Eating. He's eating everything, folks. He's hungry. He's like a goat. He's like, every yeah. day you get to eat Lily Sizzling. Wow. Look at him. He's a goat. Okay. That's my kitty. Blink, who's over here trying to eat everything. Yeah, oh, I he's jumping hide him. up on the kitchen. He is. Jump on making every Look at the camera. Come over here and get a shot of my chicken. My chicken is done. I turned my oven up to 400 because it's just a slow cooker. And we have our chicken here in the over 165. <laughs> the cat's playing me up the back of the camera, man. Poor rocks. Link, Poor is Link. Link is trying to all climb up the cameraman. <laughs> so Poor our, cameraman. <laughs> so our chicken's done, and we're going to take this chicken out, and we're going to stick it up here on our Link. cutting board. I'm sorry. Come on. Let's go. You stay out of this kitchen right now. <laughs> He's kicking Link out of the kitchen. Yeah. professional swap. I know. He comes in the kitchen, I'll put him in the oven myself. No, you are not going to That's the official yet. safest way to do this. Transfer your chicken. Get over here. He wants my chicken. He smells it. So He's all trying to jump into the oven. We're going to let this chicken cool off and we're going to cube up this chicken and put it inside of here. And we're going to have this mixture here and we're going to stick it here inside of our croissant. Here, roll moment. up your cat. Maybe we can cook him. Roll up my cat. Yeah, no. put him all the cream cheese. No, Cut I his legs up, put him in the casserole. That's terribly mean. No. Throw him in the we oven. We do not eat the kitty. We do not eat the kitty on the least of Okay. Not Cut the, the camera. camera. I'll, I'll cook my nuts, not filling. So we're going to cube up our chicken, and I'm going to have you cook, uh, cut it for me in a few seconds. I'm Get show, it, Show you the size Get that it. we need. I will save some for him. Get it. Look at him, Lily. He's like, you give me permission? <laughs> oh, no. He wants to eat it. Get it. Get it. Get it. There. Thank you, mommy. Here, watch. I'll do him another one. He holds, <laughs> he holds my hand. Yeah, he paws me. He's like, mmm, chicken. Mm, chicken. He mm. only eats human food. I don't know why. I can't give him eat cup food. He only eats. She's introduced him to Lily's sizzling. No, it's bad for them. So fantastic. I think. Sizzle testing. It is sizzle testing. Like, look, like, like Brandon. Meow. <laughs> it's meow tastic. All right, so we're just gonna sit here and cube up our chicken and just keep adding it into this bowl, and then we'll be done and we'll start stuffing up our our uh, croissants here and getting these things ready to bake in the oven. Y'all, so we're back here and everyone's been trying my chicken. I've eaten like half the plate. Yeah, I know, and so the cats. And I've had some of the... So we're going to add in about a quarter cup of milk. Also had some of the cream stuff. Yep. And here's the chicken here in the bowl, as you can see. And we're going to mix this in with the cream cheese. And I've left the cream cheese up here on the oven, so it's really soft and palatable now to mix in there. So I'm going to mix this all it's together. It's good, too. Mm. God, excuse yourself, son. <laughs> Oh, wow, that smells really good too. We got both the cats in here trying to get our food. Yep. So we're basically going to take some of this nice cream cheese chicken and we're going to put it inside of our croissant bowl. You can't bowls. overstuff it though. You can't overstuff it. Or it won't cook. There, there she is again. I'm sure it will cook, but I'm just going to. Fold up everything over it. Like you gotta make sure it closes, closes. Yep. You can't see anything. Like a chicken pocket. Close all the seams up. 
<laughs> Everyone wants to eat. Even the baby. The baby's cats all showing up to the baby. Yeah. Just in time. Yeah, they all want to eat. The whole house is like out here waiting to eat some chicken. Saying, Lily, feed me some chicken. My chicken's better, isn't it? Who 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 wins? Me or your dad at chicken? Neither. Neither? Me. I win. You win at chicken? Okay. Beat you both. You beat us both. By like nine million years. By nine million years. So. That's making them easier to stuff. So when you get croissant rolls at the supermarket, get the larger ones, folks. Eight pack large. Yeah, an eight pack large. All right, y'all. So we have our chicken here. We're going to just brush some olive oil over the tops of it. Tops of our rolls. Try to make sure your seams are pretty well closed on here and sealed. Just do that. And we're gonna put some breadcrumbs over the tops of it. So, breadcrumbs. Yeah, breadcrumbs. I'm using the Italian breadcrumbs. It's the one Jason picked out in the store. Usually I make my own breadcrumbs, so you can also make your own breadcrumbs. So I'm just gonna coat the tops of these with breadcrumbs. Oh, that one needs some more. That oh, one. don't be stingy. Okay, I won't be stingy. This is a good ingredient. Hook it up. Oh, yeah, hook it up. Okay, I hooked it up. I hooked it up. I hooked it up. It's done. It's sizzle-tastic. Yeah, right, now it's sizzle-tastic. Yes, into the oven it goes. Okay guys, so we're here and we're going to put a little bit of onions over the tops of this. A little bit of these French onions here. Alright y'all, so you can come here and see that these cro croissants are getting nice and golden. They're getting nice and done. And so anyways, they're, we're about maybe 5-10 minutes away from everything being finished here. So that's why I added the onions on top of our uh, our nice little casserole here that we have going on. So now we're going to take this and we're gonna let this cook for about another good 10 minutes. 15 maybe at most. So uh, we're going to make a nice drink here. So we're going to make a uh, peach melba mimosa. And basically that's going to be uh, white wine. And it's going to be some peaches and some raspberries. So I usually don't make uh, mixed drinks on the show very often. So this is a nice special episode uh, that we've had suggested to us uh, from our friend Jason. So let's take a drink. Thanks, and, Jason. Uh, yeah, the cameraman likes it because he's going to get a to make a nice drink. So we're going to come back to you. And me and Tristan here, we're going to show you how to make a drink here. We're back here, we're going to make a peach uh, melba mimosa. mimosa drink. So I'm basically just going to be cutting these skins off of these peaches here. You can skin your peaches. There's no wrong way to do it. You skin them. Peel it if you want, or if you're like me, you can cut it off. So I'll demonstrate both ways. There's peel it. Peel your peach. So you got all that nice lovely peach there. These are nice and ripe too. Then we have rads. Or whatever these are. Yep, we're gonna have raspberries, and if you can see all these raspberries here, about a good cup. The cameraman's eating them though. Yeah, he is. About a good cup, cup and a half of raspberries. Yeah, and a nice juicy peach. And we're gonna put this stuff into the blender. We're gonna blend it up and put it, pour some chilled wine over the tops of it once it's all blended. So I have a quarter cup of sugar. I'm gonna add in these and the raspberries here into our blender. So let's get our blender cup out over here. Do you wanna add in the sugar? There you go, quarter cup of sugar in. All of it? Yep, all of it. All that sugar. Let's add in these. Raspberries too? Yep, add in the raspberries. There you go. Went down one. Uh, we were down one man. It's oh, okay. That one. I couldn't replace Got that one. Extra yep. one. A little bit of lemon right on into there. Good luck. Alright, so we're gonna put some of this over here. Alright, and we're gonna add in the raspberries. Alright, 
Here, and now we're going to blend the rest of this up here, and we're going to put this into, we're going to take a blend. spoonful of it and, yep, blend. Our beautiful raspberry and Madesha. Yep. Hand me the wine bottle, cameraman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not gonna hand it over easily. Oh. So we're gonna take a good spoonful or so. Only well, because it's going to a good cause. Beautiful More puree wine. here. And if you don't want to drink wine with it, you can try a little bit of apple juice. And if you want uh, like apple juice and some sparkling water would would, would be good too. Here I add in your wine. And then you're gonna slice the raspberry. Raspberry in here for garnish. You can stick it to the side of the cup if you can. Get to stick. And if you want to, you can cut up a piece of lemon. There you go. Stick it on the side like that. Yeah, that'd be pretty. Sticking a little piece of lemon on the side. There you go. Get nice and fruity there. Hold on, let's make a little, you have to make an incision right here in the lemon when you're going to stick it to your drink cup. Just like that. There you go. Put it right there on the side. There you go. And this peach mimosa is for... Let the, let the cameraman drink it. Is for you, cameraman. There you go. All right, so we're going to plate up our stuff here. And if you notice... Chain rolls. Our chicken rolls are done here, so we're going to get everything ready to go here. We're going to pull out our... our uh, green beans in here, our casserole, oh, the and we're going to have some, uh, no cut cheese, there's no cheese on this, Ooh. we're going to have some mimosas, some uh, <laughs> peach melba or whatever you want to call it, we're going to have some of these like little uh, chicken croissant rolls, and, and we're going to have some green bean casseroles, we're going to plate it on up for you next y'all. And if you want to, you can put turkey in chicken rolls. Yeah, instead. we were just talking about that, like Thanksgiving turkey, we were thinking about, oh that'd be good for like Thanksgiving turkey leftovers, put them in there. And... There's some turkey and chicken rolls, turkey yep. rolls. Turkey rolls. Yep, so Thanksgiving comes. This is a good roll. episode or a good recipe idea to do with all that leftover turkey that you got. Right. That one just for me. Yep, with apple juice. For the kids, we're going to make them with apple juice. There you go. A couple of spoonfuls of that. Our blender over here. And a little bit of apple juice. And if you had some sparkling water, that would be good to go in there too. A little bit of apple juice. That's possible. Can I have a little more of that? You want a little bit more apple juice? No. The other one. What? That one. You want, you want more of this? He I likes, like it. He likes this a lot. That's good. <laughs> there you go. That's a really good mix. I, I'm even over here eating it. There you go. Take a sip. Fruity apple juice. Cup. Mother yeah. approved. Yep. So for... For the kids... And you I'm can the make judge. Them, so. Yeah, you can make kids cocktails too, but you just gotta do it and get creative with your apple juice and your sprites. All right, folks, so we're ready here to pack on up and we're gonna come and bring this episode to a close and let's get to plating on up. Coming up next. All right, folks, so we're done here. We got this all plated on up and Tristan is loving this. I'm not drinking juice. it. Yeah, right. He's gonna fart and burp it all out and cut the cheese. <coughs> oh, God. <laughs> So stick to the cue card. We've done his dad's uh, his dad's recipe here, and we made that all that. Um, we took a basically a brick of cream cheese. We took uh, some of the mushrooms and bell peppers, and we mixed all that together, and we made. I'll tell you how it tastes. Yep, you will tell me how it tastes. And we put chicken in there, and uh, we cooked that frozen chicken on up because the dad insists that we use the frozen chicken because it's least expensive. He goes for like least expensive ingredients, but we still made a really beautiful meal out of this. And I topped off some raspberries over here, and then we took the green beans there, and we put the cream of mushroom soup in there, and some garlic, and some a uh, little bit of mushroom guys in there, and some different seasonings and stuff. And we really made a nice uh, little green bean casserole. We topped off some French onions here, and then we made these drinks here which are comprised of peaches it's and gone. raspberries and yeah it's gone he drank it all Man. it's it's approved he loves it so that's a really good like little drink <laughs> keep going ah! 
Okay, so I hope you all like another episode here. Lily Sizzling coming to you. Seattle, Washington, Channel 77. YouTube.com backslash Lily Sizzling. Facebook.com backslash Sizzletastic. And Sizzletastic.com. So make sure you come watch us. Send your recipe ideas, thoughts, and your suggestions. And we will film them. So, bye y'all. And eat up and bon appetit. Sizzletastic. And look, I'm eating it. He can't stop eating. Okay. He's gonna get fat here in my kitchen. Look at him. <laughs> bye bye, cameraman. Bye bye, cameraman. You're going on my <laughs> done, boy. That's his plate, too. This is cameraman's plate. He's eating it all. Take it, take it, take it. Bye, y'all. Bon appetit. Nah. <laughs>